what is up you guys hope you're partying like every day is your birthday because we got another one for you guys today and we got a quote video y'all know we love watching the quotes man so shout out the true words for this one and uh we're not gonna have a long intro y'all already know we're gonna be pausing it a few times because we like to sit and get deep with each other, man. It's one of our only moments we get to really slow down and get on another level with each other. You feel me? I don't know about you guys, but I've been needing this video. I'm not gonna lie. There's life. I don't know, bro. Life be just getting me down sometimes. It just thinking about the world and just life in general. Just I don't know. It makes me sad sometimes. I feel like we're the most. Earth is the worst place in all of galaxies. Like yeah, I'm sure un other planets are inhabitable. But at the same time, those planets were themselves, you know, they they's what they was meant to be. I feel like us as humans are just destroying the one place we're actually able to live on. And not only that, bro, we just treat each other so shittily. I feel like the only way you could truly be happy is with money. Oh, but yeah, you got family and friends. Bro, I don't care what you say. You have to have money to be happy in life. Living on the street yeah you could be happy person like that but i think it's fake happiness because no one should have to live like that you know that shit that shit really is sad it's hard to be happy when the whole world is just surrounded by how much money you make and you know if you want to do a good deed for someone 90 percent of the time you got to have money to do it you know because that's where most people's problems stem from you don't see people giving away uh, hugs and kisses in youtube videos you know what i'm saying they're giving away money and then I also saw a study saying that, you know, animals are being fed plastic, which we saw that one dude where they were putting in pig feed. And then I saw now humans have 80% of humans, it was found, have microplastics inside of their blood. Like shit like that. Like, are we serious as humans? We really fucking each other over for a couple of bucks? It just, it, it makes me so mad about stuff like this. Because if we really all just helped each other out at the end of the day, this world could be such a better place. And we could all just be, our only problem would be figuring out, you know, what we want to do today. And just living life would be our only responsibility. But that's just not how life is. And, uh, nah, I guess not. So let's just hop right into it and see what these quotes are working with. We humans, we're all the same. Every last one of us. For some, it's I don't drinking. drink, you know what I'm saying? I don't like alcohol. For some, it's women. For some, even religion. Family, the king, dreams, children, power. Mm. All of us had to spend our lives drunk on something. He's not wrong about that. Cause to keep pushing on. Everyone was a slave to something. Kenny Ackerman spitting nothing but facts right there. That's a deep quote. Y'all really think about it. I am fine without you. But Horikita, I've never considered you an ally, not even for a second. Damn. Not you. Not Kushida. Not Hirata. Damn, that's kind of fucked up. And all people are nothing people but tools. Are nothing but tools to me. All of them. I don't care what I have to do to win. I don't care what I have to sacrifice. Well, this guy's gonna have no friends. In this world, winning is everything. And in the end, I'm going to win. That's all that matters. Well, that's one evil son of a bitch. There are many types of monsters in this world. Is there someone reading this one? Am I supposed to be reading this one? Am I reading this one? Are we going to read this one? I'm reading this one. All right. There are many types of monsters in this world. Monsters who will not show themselves and who cause trouble. Monsters who abduct children. Monsters who devour dreams. Monsters who suck blood. And monsters who always tell lies. Lying monsters are a real nuisance. They are much more cunning than the other monsters. They pose as humans even though they have no understanding of the human heart. They eat even though they've never experienced hunger. They study even though they have no interest in academics. They seek friendship even though they do not know how to love. If I were to encounter such a monster, I would likely be eaten by it. Because in truth, I am that monster. El Lalette. 
In this world, nothing perfect exists. Ooh. It may be a cliche. Ooh, actually, bro, I would say there is some perfect things in this world. Like, the sky. If y'all ever go outside in some of the mornings, it's just such a perfect gradient. You know what's one thing I've noticed with the sky that's kind of crazy? The more you look right above you, the darker blue of a shade the sky is. Like, the farther you look away, the lighter it will go. Kind of crazy. But if y'all look at the sky, man, it's just a beautiful blue gradient. It's perfect, man. It's perfect. Okay, hey, after all... But it's the way things are. Who decides what perfection really That's is? That's precisely you know? why ordinary men pursue the concept of perfection. It's infatuation. The truth of the matter is I despise perfection. If something is truly perfect, that's it. The bottom line becomes there is no room for imagination. No space for intelligence or ability or improvement. I, I mess with this guy's mentality. A dead end, a condition of hopelessness. Always strive to be better than anything that came before you, but not perfect. Scientists agonize over the attempt to achieve perfection. That's the kind of creatures we are. We take joy in trying to exceed our grasp. In trying to reach for something that, in the end, we have to admit, may in fact be unreachable. This dude is Only just nothing but a book of knowledge. Run away from things. I like that quote right there. It's not always your own fault, though. The world, our society, people around us. There are plenty of times when someone else is to blame. Saying, I can change myself, is just admitting defeat. It's only done so one can adapt to this cold, cruel world and become its slave. That phrase is no more than a pretty way to dress up the fact that you're deceiving yourself. I don't know about that. I think people can definitely change. Hey, by the way, true words, man. You missed about that word change. Just, you know, giving your heads up. Equal? These days, everywhere you go, there's talk about the fight for equality. As a wise man once said, heaven does not create one person above or below another. People like to throw his words around. That's not the whole quote. He goes on to say that while we are all equal at birth, pretty soon things begin to change. I agree. Academic effort is what sets some people apart to rise above the others. 100%. At any rate, humans change over time based on their actions. Truth be told, at the end of the day, equality is just a fantasy. And most of us go through life denying the fact that we live in a meritocracy. I, I like that one too because I think a lot of people a lot of people especially nowadays sitting behind a screen are so quick and easy to be like oh well you have it better than me or you have no idea you don't know how many times y'all I see a motivational video and then the comments are all you don't don't understand because you da 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 you don't get it because da 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 da, -da. a lot of people instead of getting out of a shitty situation and wanting to work hard at that they just would rather you know, blame other people for their failures and shit like that. I definitely think that we all are all created equal at birth to an extent. And it really depends on how hard you work at life to get to that next level. This life stuff is so crazy, bro. Just, I don't know. It's just, it's just amazing. It's just fascinating for me to think about. That's the word. Absolutely fascinating. I hate nice girls. If they so much as say hello, it stays on my mind. If they return my text, my heart races. The day one calls me, I know I'll look at my call history and grin. But I know in my heart, that's just them being nice. That's how it be sometimes, People man. who are nice to me are also nice to everyone else. I almost end up forgetting that. If the truth is cruel, then lies must be kind. That's why kindness is a lie. I gave up on always expecting it, always mistaking it, and even hoping for it. Someone who's been alone for so long doesn't fall for the same trick twice. I'm a veteran. He's not wrong about that. When it comes to losing. And that's why I'll always. When you really are alone, bro, and you girls. are sitting in your thoughts, you be realizing a lot. Things you maybe didn't see before. We all die some. As long as someone keeps a person's wishes alive, they won't die. Once you've decided to follow them, no matter how much you bleed, and even if your tears run dry, you stick to it. That's what a knight stands for. 
Okay, Meliodas. Youth is a lie. It is nothing but evil. I've always thought about this, you guys. Do y'all... I, I know... Well, I, I don't know for sure, but for me, at least as a kid, I had my best years of my life when I was, you know, more of a jit. And, you know, through 2016, through 2015. But I've always told myself, was life really just better then? Or were we just blinded and didn't have all the responsibilities that weighed on us nowadays? You know, if we were... To, if I was the same age then as I was when I was living my best life, would I still have been living my best life? I don't know. Those who look to rejoice in their youth deceive themselves and those around them, accepting in full the circumstances that devour them. In the face of the great and reverend word youth, they will twist any common interpretation or accepted notion out of recognition. In their minds, lies, secrets, sins, and even failure are nothing more than the spice of youth. If failure is truly the designated mark of one's youth, hey, is that you? I don't think so. Would it not because be old people still fail and they're not young. I don't think failure designates one's youth. I couldn't tell you what the hell it does, but I wouldn't say failure does. Is that you? Then would it not be considered abnormal for one not in his youth to still fail at befriending anyone? Let's go. But I'm sure none of them would admit to that being true. They only define youth to their own benefit. In conclusion, I leave you with this. All you fools who delight in youth, drop dead. Damn. Some people will tell you that life is unfair. They'll tell you it's because what you were born with is what you end with, gifted or ungifted. Your place in the pecking order is decided for you the very moment you're born. I can, I, I, I can, I think this is real. I think for some people, this is a very true statement. Life is unfair. Some people get born into shitty situations or born with a shitty environment around them. But I do not think what you start with is what you end with. I think your life is what you make most of it. Sometimes the hardest times in life create some of the strongest people. They'll tell you it's because what you were born with is what you end with. Gifted or ungifted. Your place in the pecking order is decided for you the very moment you're born. We raise the gifted up to places the ungifted are not allowed to reach. To places they can never dream of reaching. <laughs> But does it always have to be this way? Does it frustrate you, kid? Does it upset you to be the weakest one? That's good. Hold on to that feeling. It's proof. That feeling means that you are not yet ready. Yup, yup. To give up on yourself. There's a rocket coming at me. Hey, what a way to end the video right there. I'm about to go take a little break from recording. We did five videos. I'm about to go to the gym. Because yeah! I've been taking a little break the last few days, and I'm not going to lie. My muscles have been getting really small, and I've been losing my progress. So I needed a little bit of motivation to get to it, but I really, really hope you guys did enjoy this one. As again, another great video from True Word. So make sure you guys do go show them some love. And, uh... Would love it to if some of y'all got deep in the comments with me. If you guys have any, you know, comments or things you want to add on the video, would love to be able to interact with you guys and discuss some of them. Like I said, it's a time where we could really get a little deeper with each other and talk about life. Because life is such a crazy ass thing. And there's not too many places where you could just sit down and just start up a random ass conversation with random ass people about, you know, life. People gonna look at you like, bro, we was just talking about what's at the lunch today what the hell is this mo oh you know what i mean but hopefully we can get a little deep with each other today if you guys got any other quotes or stuff y'all want me to see make sure you go to the community tab and send me some heat we got the new tab up for the videos coming next week would love to see y'all stuff in there but i hope y'all have an amazing amazing rest of your day make sure you party and like it's your birthday because you never know when your time is gonna end and deuces brother